With the U.S. having a 5-1 to one advantage heading into the Junior President's Cup's afternoon foursomes, the international team made up two more points but are still down 9-3 to three, heading into the final round. Cole Hammer from Texas, here he is on the 7th with his approach shot. And check this out. It's going to roll up there. It's worth the wait, folks. Tracking, tracking back toward the pin. The U.S. was one up heading into the hole. So then his playing partner, Garrett Barber, teammate, LSU commit, halves the hole with that birdie on the seventh. Also on the seventh, Luca Filippi, the South African, just misses for birdie. He wanted that one because here's Akshay Batia. The American makes the birdie. U.S. goes one up in that match. On to the 11th with Naraji Ramadan. Match all square. Wants this birdie to drop. But it's just short for the Indonesian. But that leaves a chance for the U.S. here. Joe Highsmith for the birdie. And they win that hole. U.S. is one up. We had a lot of close ones on Monday afternoon. Rayhan Thomas. On the 15th, the U.S. three up. So International really needed this one, just misses it, which leaves a chance for Trent Phillips. On the 15th, his birdie putt. The UGA commit helps the U.S. win it four and three. But we're not done yet. We had another match go all the way to the 18th in the afternoon. United States, Jacob Bridgman with a stellar approach shot here to set up a chance at birdie with the match all square. We had a couple of missed putts, but the par was all they needed to win the whole one up. The U.S. is up nine to three after round two. Only one more session remains for the inaugural Junior President's Cup. Tuesday morning, we will have the singles format.